Hello free souls, this is part two of the hormonal balance series and in today's video I'm going to talk about the 10 ways how you can overcome estrogen dominance naturally. So the first way how you can address estrogen dominance is of course through diet. So eating a nutritious and balanced varied diet is highly important um, but the truth is you don't need to follow any kind of restricted diet. You don't have to be a vegan or a paleo eater in order to be healthy. You can eat everything, you know, but as long as most of your food comes from homemade real foods, you're good to go. It's important to eat plenty of fiber because fiber is what transport excess estrogen out of the body. So eating things like a lot of legumes, grains, nuts and seeds, lots of vegetables, fruit, and of course, a mindful and uh, moderate amount of animal protein. Also be wary of phytoestrogens or plant-based estrogens in certain foods like for example soy and also in certain herbs like um, Asian ginseng or black cohosh. So just be very mindful and don't put more of that estrogen into your body. The next way to fight estrogen dominance is by taking Vitex, also called chaseberry. It's a herb that um, promotes the production of progesterone, which naturally balances estrogen in the body and um, gets rid of estrogen dominance. It is a miracle for a lot of women. I mean, if you look at the reviews, at articles, forums, it's a miracle for so many of them. It doesn't work for everybody, but it's always worth trying. The next way to fight estrogen dominance is by using liver supporting herbs or liver cleansing herbs. So the most prominent ones are dandelion, and milk thistle. They're really, really good because liver actually gets rid of excess estrogen. So if your liver is healthy and working really well, you will naturally have much more normal estrogen levels. Next way to reduce estrogen dominance is by taking a supplement called DIM. It's a natural supplement, supplement made out of cruciferous vegetables and it's really, really good at reducing estrogen levels in women. Some say that it only uh, kind of converts the dangerous estrogen to the more good estrogen. Some say that it actually reduces the levels of overall estrogen. I have to say in my case, it did reduce my estrogen quite a bit. I've done the blood test, so I have proof. Um, but you really have to be careful with it as well. Don't overdo it because you can send your estrogen levels too low and if you do you'll start having hair loss and uh, some other symptoms so just be really mindful with it because it's a very powerful supplement. The next way to fight estrogen dominance is by ditching all kinds of chemicals in your environment or at least ditching as many as you can so ditching chemical skincare, makeup, hair care, cleaning products, also limiting the use of plastics as much as possible, especially when it comes to food and serving and storing your food and also buying as much organic produce as you can. Now the next way is slightly controversial and it's fasting and calorie reduction. So in women hormonal balance is very very fragile and it's very sensitive to any kind of stress and fasting and calorie reduction can be a stress if it's not done very carefully and very mindfully. The fact is that estrogen levels are much lower in third world countries than in developed western countries and it, it is thought that it's because of all the overeating and abundance of food that we have in the West. So that's why fasting and uh, reducing calories a little bit could be helpful. But as I said, if you do try it, you need to be really careful to make sure that you don't stress your body. Because if your body thinks that it's a dangerous situation, it's going to produce more and more of the stress hormones and it's going to make your hormonal imbalance even worse. The next way to fight estrogen dominance is by exercising or moving as much as you can. Because exercising, first of all, reduces your weight and your fat, which is really good because it means that you will produce less, less estrogen naturally. It also improves your mood, so you will have less of those horrible mood swings, especially around the PMS times. It also improves your uh, insulin sensitivity and of course it reduces stress, which brings me to the next point, which is reducing stress. That is so helpful for your hormonal levels because 
when you have less stress it means that less progesterone will be stolen in order to make cortisol which means that your estrogen will be perfectly balanced by progesterone so you can fight stress in a lot of different ways you can exercise gently you can do meditation yoga journaling go out for walks take regular breaks you know go on holiday do whatever it takes and if you want more ideas you can watch my how to lower cortisol naturally video i talked about that there and also made another video recently about the top adaptogenic herbs for stress relief um, and that's really important too because some herbs can be really really helpful in fighting stress so check that out too next way is ditching any artificial hormones so if you're still on the pill you definitely need to get off it because you will never ever fix your hormonal balance you will never get rid of estrogen dominance if you continue putting artificial hormones into your body and more and more estrogen. And the last way is using progesterone cream, which could be very helpful for those with low or lowish progesterone levels, but I wouldn't try that without doing tests, without testing your progesterone and estrogen levels, because if you already have a lot of progesterone, it might actually do more harm than good. But if you do have lowish progesterone, it can be extremely useful. It can reset the system, it can train your body how to produce more progesterone again. It can balance that estrogen and it does wonders. A lot of women have low or lowish progesterone, so natural progesterone cream can be extremely helpful. You just really need to look at any forums or um, reviews on Amazon or iHerb on any natural progesterone cream and you will see how amazingly it helps a lot of women out there. So these are all the 10 ways to fight estrogen dominance naturally. I really hope that you find it interesting and helpful. In the next video in the series, I'm going to talk about low progesterone. So stay tuned. I hope it's going to be next Wednesday, but I'm not sure because I'm actually going to be on holiday in Lithuania and in London. So I don't know when it's going to be out, but hopefully next week. So thanks so much for watching. And also let me know if you want to meet me in London, if you live there. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.